The Techniques Used in Robotic Surgery Robotic surgery, also known as robot-assisted surgery, incorporates several advanced techniques to enhance surgical procedures. Here's a breakdown of the key techniques use 3D visualization. Surgeons use a console to view a magnified, high-definition, three-dimensional image of the surgical site, precision and control. Robotic arms hold instruments and a camera, which the surgeon controls with great precision and flexibility, minimally invasive access. Small incisions are made to insert very small tools, minimizing patient trauma and potentially leading to faster recovery, telemanipulation. Surgeons operate the robotic arms using a direct telemanipulator or through computer control, allowing for delicate and complex movements, telesurgery capability. The system allows for remote surgery, where the surgeon operates from a different location than the patient, integration of advanced technologies, the use of augmented reality, AR, artificial intelligence, AI, machine learning, and haptic feedback enhances the surgical experience and outcomes, these techniques collectively contribute to the effectiveness of robotic surgery, offering benefits like reduced pain, less blood loss, quicker healing, and shorter hospital stays. However, it's important to note that the surgeon is always in control. The robot serves as an advanced tool to assist in the procedure. The technical processes using robotic surgery, the technical processes involved in robotic surgery or robot-assisted surgery are quite intricate and involve several steps preoperative planning. Before the surgery, detailed imaging scans of the patient are taken to plan the procedure. Surgeons use these images to determine the best approach and to program the robot's movements. Set up in the operating room. The surgical team positions the patient and prepares the robotic system. This includes draping sterile covers over the robotic arms and ensuring all equipment is functioning correctly, incision and docking. The surgeon makes small incisions through which the robotic instruments and a high-definition 3D camera will be inserted. The robotic arms are then docked to the patient, connecting the instruments to the entry ports, control console. The surgeon moves to a control console, which provides a magnified, high-definition 3D view of the surgical site. From here, the surgeon manipulates the robotic arms and instruments with hand controls and foot pedals, instrument manipulation. The robotic arms replicate the surgeon's hand movements in real time, translating them into precise movements of the miniaturized instruments inside the patient's body, telesurgery. If necessary, the system allows for telesurgery, where the surgeon operates from a remote location, controlling the robotic arms over a secure network connection, postoperative. Management, after the surgery, the robotic system is undocked, and the incisions are closed. The patient is then moved to recovery, where they are monitored as they wake from anesthesia. Throughout the process, the surgeon is in complete control of the robotic system, which acts as an extension of the surgeon's capabilities, providing enhanced precision, flexibility, and control. The integration of advanced technologies like augmented reality, AR, artificial intelligence, AI, and machine learning further augments the surgeon's skills. The duration of a typical robotic surgery procedure. The duration of a robotic surgery procedure can vary widely depending on the complexity and type of surgery. Here are some general time frames for different procedures. Simple procedures may take as short as 30 minutes. Complex procedures can take 5 hours or longer. Robotic assisted hysterectomy typically takes between 2 to 4 hours to complete. These times are approximate and can differ based on the surgeon's experience the specifics of the case, and the individual patient's condition. It's always best to consult with a healthcare provider for the most accurate information regarding a specific surgical procedure. The advantages of robotic surgery over traditional methods. Robotic surgery offers several advantages over traditional surgical methods. Enhanced precision. Robotic systems provide surgeons with improved control, allowing for more precise movements in tight spaces. Minimally invasive. The procedures typically require smaller incisions, which can lead to less scarring. And a quicker recovery, reduced blood loss. Patients often experience less blood loss during robotic surgeries compared to traditional methods, shorter hospital stays. Due to the minimally invasive nature of the surgery, patients may have shorter hospital stays, faster recovery times, smaller incisions and reduced trauma to the body can result in faster recovery times for patients, lower risk of infection. The precision and minimal invasiveness can also reduce the risk of postoperative infections, less pain and discomfort. Patients often report less pain and discomfort during the recovery process. These benefits contribute to the growing preference for robotic surgery in applicable cases. However, 
It's important to note that robotic surgery may not be suitable for all patients or procedures, and the decision should be made in consultation with a healthcare provider. The way haptic feedback works during robot-assisted surgery Haptic feedback in robot-assisted surgery is a technology that provides tactile sensations to the surgeon, simulating the feeling of touch. Here's how it generally works force sensors. The robotic instruments have force sensors that detect the amount of force the instruments encounter when touching tissues or other objects in the body, feedback system. These force measurements are then translated into tactile feedback. This can be done through various methods, such as vibrations or resistance applied to the surgeon's controls, surgeon's console. The surgeon operates the robotic arms from a console, which includes hand controls or gloves that provide the haptic sensations, giving the surgeon a sense of touch as if they were directly holding the surgical instruments, enhanced precision, by feeling the resistance and texture of the tissues. The surgeon can operate with greater precision, as they have a better sense of the force being applied and the boundaries of the tissues sensory substitution some systems may use sensory substitution providing feedback through auditory or visual cues instead of direct tactile sensations haptic feedback is crucial because it helps to compensate for the lack of direct contact with the surgical area potentially reducing the risk of applying too much force and causing tissue damage it also aims to improve the surgeon's dexterity and the overall safety and effectiveness of the surgery